welcome back to my channel. This is our bar vlog series and we're gonna bring videos every week. This is my friend Sammy and she's gonna take it over. Hi there, all right, so I am the owner and instructor at Cardio Bar Santa Clarita and we every week are going to be bringing you a better you. So we will be giving you workout tips, advice, um, little workouts to do at home, nutrition advice, pretty much everything just to create a more positive and happy you uh, from the inside out. First part of our bar blog series, we are going to do a full body workout. All right, so we are going to show you all the exercises on the lovely Kendall. We will both be doing it, but I will explain it on her. And then we're actually gonna do one full round with you, and at home you're gonna repeat it two more times. All right? All right, okay, here we go. Get started. So we are starting with our plie, uh, with our cross tap. So the legs you want them starting wider than the hips. Hands can be on the hips, and you wanna make sure you're tall. So when we press down the plie, don't lean that chest forward. You want the butt kind of tucked under, engaging the abs. So we're gonna bend down and then you're gonna come up and drag and squeeze that right foot and crossing through. So you're gonna feel the butt, but mainly the inner thigh. Then we'll come back down, plie, and then cross that left leg, that's two. And then come back down, we're gonna do this 10 times, squeeze and cross. Then back down, keep lifting tall, your abs always pulling in tight, good, and so on and so forth, crossing that right, squeezing through the inner thigh, and laughing, you'll do that four more times for a set of 10, okay? Our next moves, we're gonna actually grab our weight. So we have three pounders, three should be sufficient. If you need a little lighter or you want a little heavier, it's totally up to you. So we're gonna be taking those legs nice and wide, working two area, well, three actually. So we're working the legs, biceps and shoulders here, but switching up the sets, right? So we'll start with those arms in a front bicep curl. We're gonna bend and curl and then just release from there. So nice please with those bicep curls. So this kind of goes down, she's lifting tall through the spine, pressing down in her heels, feeling those legs squeeze, her glutes engage on the way up, right? But her shoulders staying up and back, and when she bends into her curl, she squeezes and then resists down. So we'll do that 10 times. And then from there, she's gonna hold it down, bring those arms up, and we're going right into overhead press. So those palms face forward, and we're gonna press up, and then 10 times there, just holding the legs. And you're actually gonna feel the center engage as the bottom parts press down while that top presses up through the ceiling, right? So you'll do that 10 times. And then from there, we're gonna actually take it into side curls. So those elbows tight to the ribs, turn out to the sides. We're gonna press down, keeping through, plie and bicep curl, right? Just to the side now. You wanna make sure, just like Kendall is, those elbows stay tight to the ribs. You're actually gonna feel the back engage as well. It's a fantastic thing, not just getting the biceps. You get nice, bunches of parts of the body, right? So we're gonna keep squeezing through, do that 10 times, and then from there, she's gonna hold it down, and this is our V overhead press. She's actually gonna take it out wide, and then pull back down, out wide. And even on the way down, you're gonna feel your back engage, elbows can kind of pull behind the body, but mainly feeling those shoulders, squeeze up and out, and then 10 times there. Then from there, we're gonna flow into our last movement, plie bicep, plie with the hammer curls, right? So we're gonna have the palms face each other. Again, bend down together and extend up. Still lengthening, right? Always a length and a strength here. Feeling yourself reach up and out, but pressing through. So we do that 10 times, then we hold, and this is a tight, straight overhead press. Press straight up overhead and pull back down. And up and down, keeping the palms facing each other, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's like that hammer, so everything just kind of flows from one to the next. So after you do that 10 times, then we move on to our next move, where you can just set the weights on down. Double so weight. next, yes, well, for Kinda. now, right? <laughs> All right, so next we're coming into our plie pop-up. So this is gonna actually kind of get your heart rate up a little bit, which is really nice to get that body challenged a little bit more. So those legs nice and wide still in that plie. We're gonna press down through, and then keeping those abs and tight hands come to the floor, and just take a little hop where you can step back, keeping the legs wide. Then we're gonna come back up, step or come through, back to that plie section, lift and releve up on those tippy toes, right? Working those calves. So we'll do that again. Taking it down, and then step or hop back, keep it wide, back up through, and then come out of that plie, find that lift, and we'll do that 10 times. From there, we're gonna come down going into our push-ups. So, we'll give you the modified version as well, so you can either be on the knees like Kendall or I'm on the feet. Make sure your hands a little wider than those shoulders, right? Keeping those abs tight, chin off that chest, and we're just gonna press down and up. So you'll see Kendall's butt is in line with her shoulders, which is exactly what you want, right? Keeping the shoulders and the hands in line with each other and just taking it down. Push-ups are great, guys. They work the core, they work that whole upper body. Main focus is the chest, but you get the triceps, the shoulders, the biceps, the back, everything, right? 
from there, where those weights, we want them back again. Grabbing those weights, coming just up on the knees and keeping a flat back, kind of sit back in your butt a little bit, hinge forward, your abs stay tight, arms long up by the sides of your body, so I'll turn to the side so you can see. You can see both Kendall and I lifting just straight up and down. We're hitting tricep lifts, and you want to keep the hands above the booty and hips, and that challenges so we're not dropping all the way down, and you're just feeling that length and engagement all the way through that backside. All right, all right, our next bit, we are gonna go into the booty. All right, booty, booty so work. <laughs> coming down for those nice butt plaster positions, those forearms down on the floor, elbows right under the shoulders. And Kendall's gonna take the left knee right in the left hip, right foot's gonna flex, and we're just gonna press from that hip, and she's gonna press up and down nice and slow. Right, big squeezes, so 10 reps there, and you're actually gonna flow in through 10 pulses, keep it nice and high, and just pump up. Then we're gonna slow it down again and we're gonna point the toe. So squeeze up and down. Up, again 10, and then 10 tight little pulses. And then from there, we're just gonna switch sides, right? But we'll do this all with you later. Then from there, we're actually gonna take it from the butt and go to that outer thigh. So coming down, laying on the side of our body. You can just let your head rest in that hand, that bottom leg straight in front of you, that top leg flex. And we're gonna go slow flex leg lifts, right? So nice and slow for 10, just squeezing up and down. Plenty of seats driving through that heel. You want to make sure that the foot's pulling all the way into the knee. And then after 10, we're going to hold it up and pulse from there. And then just like we did for the butt blasters, we're going to point the toe finally, slow it down, up and down again. Squeezing, she's even going to feel this from her obliques all the way down, which is nice, getting those curves. And then again, 10 pulses up. And then we'll come down and switch sides. All right? From there, we're going to go into our inner thighs with some ab work. So we're taking it on the back. Good, going in for a nice straddle crutch. You want the legs up above the hips, heels together, toes turned out, pointed nice and long. We're gonna take the hands behind the head. Good, and as we open the legs, we're gonna crunch nice through, right, a big crunch of the abs. So we're gonna take it out, crunch up, and then release it in. On the release in, you wanna feel the inner thigh squeeze all the way up through the top. And then nice big squeeze, try not to pull the head and neck, so you wanna keep that chin tall. Beautiful, nice big squeeze, that length as well. Not just working the abs and the inner thighs, a little bit of everything. Good. From there, here we go. We're gonna take that left leg long, that right leg. We're gonna pull in through a single leg crunch. So that knee is just gonna come straight in towards that right side of that chest, crunch it up, and then lengthen out. So we have this for 10, and then we're gonna take it in for 10 through a rotation. So that left elbow is actually gonna cross over to that right knee, starting to fire up the obliques. After 10 there, we'll literally just switch sides. We're gonna take that left leg parallel, pulling up for 10, and then we'll take it that rotation, crossing that right elbow over, setting ourselves up for one of our last ab moves. We have two more little bits. So we're gonna take those legs at the tabletop, hold that crunch up, starting with those toes pointed, bicycle 10, well reps, but sets right and left is one rep. So we're gonna cross it right, and left, and right, and left, and after 10 there, you're actually gonna flex the feet and press and drive through. Feel yourself lift and press through a little taller, a little longer, beautiful, good. And then you ready for that last move? Yeah. We're gonna come on up, flip it on over, here we go. All right, finding a nice plank. We're gonna hold plank, and center to side is one rep. We're doing this 10 times, so we start center. You ready? You We're ready. gonna rotate to the side, Feel that right side and just hold. Then flow back center. Just a little hold. Okay, hold. And that's two. And then come back through. This is three. And we're going to do that ten times, feeling that core engage. That's four, and so on and so forth. Woo Good. That's our full body first workout for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy. And we're going to go through this right now for you guys. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Two, two, one. Two, two, one. Two, two, one.
actually sweating. That was such a good workout. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to have Sammy tell you a little bit more about it. All right, so make sure as well, guys, warm up before you work out, even if it's just doing, you know, walking up and down in place or moving your arms up and down just to get some movement, even some jumping jacks, um, and stretch and cool down after as well. You don't want to hurt yourself or have tight muscles. Um, as you saw, we did this one time through. You're going to do it two more times through. Um, keep checking with yourself, with your body. When you feel like you can't, tell yourself you can. It's always mind over, over matter, yes. Um, and just, just enjoy it, guys. You're doing a beautiful, amazing thing for yourself. Empower, inspire, feel strong, confident, motivated, all of the above, right? I do. I'm so excited that we're doing this Fire Vlog series, yes. and we're hoping to get videos out every week, like we said earlier. So if you have any ideas or comments or anything you would like to see in the future, we are here for you. So make sure you subscribe and follow us along on this new journey of ours. Yeah. Hashtag Fire Vlog series. For sure. <laughs> Woohoo.